The family of John Pop is grieving tonight. The 79-year-old who suffered from Alzheimer's was found dead after wandering away from home earlier this week. His story is renewing calls for there to be an alert system similar to Amber Alerts when seniors go missing. But as Tina Lovegreen explains, there is one big concern. Um, here's hiking with my brother. Um, John Pop was a mining engineer, originally from Romania, with love for the outdoors. But at 79, he was living with Alzheimer's. I would say his mind was more like a uh, two-year-old, uh, of course, with good days and bad days. On Tuesday, the family's usual safeguards failed. His GPS watch was being repaired, and the door alarm didn't go off. He walked up the trail, and he slipped off and ended up in the bottom. It took four days to find him. His family wonders if he'd still be alive if more people knew he was missing. It took probably at least 24, 48 hours for the word to go out. So he was about mid-stage when you left home. Sam No has been pushing for a province-wide silver alert system for six years, ever since his father went for a walk in 2013 and was never seen again. Similar to the Amber Alerts for missing children, it would be for seniors with dementia. Missing person with Alzheimer's disease or dementia is an absolute emergency. So the chances of survival starts to decrease after 24 hours. Some individual jurisdictions have a similar system, like Winnipeg, but there are no provincial programs. The province says it's considered implementing a silver alert system, but police have warned of Amber fatigue, that too many alerts would be sent out and the public could become desensitized. But No says there is an easy workaround. I think there should be a geo-targeted approach where if someone has gone missing in Chilliwack, uh, there's no reason to notify the whole province of British Columbia. He had no any. In most cases, seniors with dementia who wander don't go far, like John Pop. And if the alert could help find them alive, any life matter, no matter what age they are. His daughter says it would be worth it. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Chilliwack, B.C.